Authorities say they have broken a widespread crime ring in western New York. This operation included cocaine, pills, even cockfighting. Tonight, 40 people are under arrest, including family members, even a grandmother. News 4's George Rickard is here with the details. George? Well, this investigation lasted a year and a half and involved wiretaps, GPS tracking, and uncovered illegal activity from Florida to Niagara Falls to two local Indian reservations. This is a well-organized gang. As you can see, it was a big gang. State Attorney General Eric Schneiderman announces the arrests of 40 people, mostly Western New Yorkers. They include 42-year-old Michelle King, a nurse from Akron, who's accused of getting Loratab from the doctor's office where she worked and selling it to 59-year-old Geraldine Horsefall, who's accused of reselling those painkillers on the Tonawanda Indian Reservation near Pembroke. She has four grandchildren. You know, when someone brings small children along with them to make themselves a more effective drug dealer, that's about as low as you can get. Matthew DeBuck of Sanborn is accused of hosting a cockfighting event every other Saturday night on the Tuscarora Indian Reservation near Lewiston. We found spurs and razor blades, which they put on the legs of the roosters as they would hack themselves to death. We a hundred thousand dollars in cocaine was seized that was allegedly shipped here from Fort Lauderdale in the soles of shoes to be sold in Niagara Falls and Lockport. One part of this probe was called Operation TGIF, named for the TGI Fridays at Maine and Chippewa, where 32-year-old Anthony DeJames works as a cook. He's charged with selling cocaine. Obviously no implications against against the restaurant or in any other way, but this was a chef who was abusing his position of trust in a place where a lot of people were passing through to do, do deals. His attorney says the restaurant was not at all involved. We are aware of absolutely no evidence demonstrating that Anthony D. James did anything illegal while he was in the course of his employment at PGI Fridays or while he was at that location. Nearly all 40 suspects were arrested in the past 24 hours, and you can see all of their names on WIVB.com. George Rickard, News 4 at 5.